Today we will see some more questions in the compound interest. In our earlier video, we have seen about concepts about compound interest and some questions also we have seen. Okay, let us see some more questions on compound interest. See the first one. The sum of money invested at compound interest will become 650 at the end of first year and 676 at the end of second year. What is the sum? Some amount, we don't know that amount. We are we have to find out that money has become 650 after one year and the same money has become 676 after two years. What is the money or principal? Okay, some money is becoming 650 after one year it has become 650 after two years it has become 676. So this is amount after one year. This is amount after two years. We have to find out principal. Okay, to find out principal just see here. This is amount after one year. After one year, time is one year, amount is 650. For principal, amount, rate of interest, time. Out of these four variables, if three variables are there, we can find out the fourth variable. So anyway, we have to find out the principal. We should have three variables with us. Already two variables are there. Amount is there, time is there. We need uh, uh, rate of interest here. Okay, right. How to find out rate of interest? The simple, very simple question. See here. This is amount after one year and amount after two years. That means this is principal for the second year. So principal 650, amount 676. How much interest we got here? 26 interest we received here. We received 26 rupees interest on 650. This is how much percentage? Okay. Rate of interest is interest is how much percent of the principal. So 26 on 650 is how much percent? 13 2 times, 13 5 times, this is 4 percent. So rate of interest is 4 percent. Okay, now we got even rate of interest. So principal is required now. What is principal? See, it is 4 percent interest means amount is 104 percent. 104 percent is there, 650. We need to find out 100 percent which is principal. So 100 by 104 into 650. 13 8 times, 13 50 times and uh, 4 here, 2 times, 4 25 times, 2 25 times, 625. 625 is the principal. So principal is 625 is the answer. Got it? Yeah. It is 625. Now see the second question. Right. Population of a town is 2000, uh, in 2015 was 8000. What will be the population in 2018 if it increases annually at 5% rate? Okay. See, why population question has come in copper interest? Because the concept is same. What happens in uh, copper interest? Principal will become amount after one year. That amount will be the principal for the next period. So that increment interest is added to principal. And on that one again, we add to principal that becomes amount. And again on that one we calculate uh, uh, the next amount. Similarly, what happens in population also, just the same way. In the beginning year, one population is there. With some rate of interest, we find out the increment in the population. We add that population that increment we add to the original population that will be the population for the next year again the increment we calculate and add for the second year again increment add third year keep on we add like this just like compound interest so the same concept we use even here so i told you in the uh, earlier video in uh, compound interest so instead of calculating percentage uh, or instead of using uh, what do you say, interest for uh, keep on adding, three methods I told you. One is using formula, second one calculate interest separately and add and third one like 104% of 104% of 104%. That method we can use for population here. So what we say, 2015, 8,000. 8,000 in 2015 is asking 2018. 
to 2016 required and then 2017 required then 2018 required after three years so after three years means you can calculate like 105 percent of 105 percent of 105 percent of 8000 but as i said you here the popular the rate is five percent the rate is five percent so calculation is easy for us i told you it is easy for us to calculate okay so what is the population after one year so in 2016 five percent of eight thousand five percent of eight thousand means ten percent eight hundred 5,400. So add 400. That will be population in 2016. And again 2017. That is 5% of 8,400. 840 and 420. 420 is a population increment. So that becomes 8,820 in 2017. And 2018. Again 5% on 8,820. The 441. So add 441, 8820 and 441. This is 9261 is the population. So 9261 is the population in 2018. Got it? So like this you have to calculate. Not only population questions, in even height of a tree. Height of a tree in 2000. Uh, uh, 16 let us say is some 2 meters it will increases 5 percent every year what will be the height of the tree in 2018 after two years just similar to this one whether it is height whether it is population whether it is competitors same concept next one the simple interest on a certain sum for two years at six percent per annum is 800 what is the compound interest on the same sum at the same rate and time? Okay, if the simple interest for two years is 800, what is the compound interest? The time and rate of interest the same. Very simple. So, if we clearly know what is simple interest, what is compound interest, without pen, question is solved. Just see here, 800 rupees is simple interest for two years means First year 400, second year 400 you can say, just divide by number of years, okay, equal interest. First year your compound interest also same. Second year along with 400 and interest on this 400 also. So 6% on 400, 6%, 1 1% uh, is 4, 6% is 24. So how much it is? 824. So, if the prince, uh, simple interest is 800, compound interest is 824, our answer, very simple. Fine. See the interesting one. A man borrowed 4,000 rupees at 5% per annum compound interest. After two years, he paid 2,200. And after two more years, he paid the balance with interest. Okay? And what was the total amount he paid as interest? 4,000 rupees he borrowed. First two years, he paid some money. And after two years, and totally after four years, he cleared the total amount. How much interest he paid? If it is same interest uh, on the money which he has taken, it is simple. But it is not same interest because some money already cleared after two years. So up to two years, how much money, uh, how much interest we have to calculate and after that, how much interest. That's what uh, separately we have to calculate. Let us see. Amount is 4,000 he has taken. How much is the interest for two years? First, let us calculate for two years. Rate of interest is 5%. Okay. So, after one year, 5% means uh, uh, 200. 200 rupees. And second year also 200. And interest on 200. That is 10 rupees. So, that becomes uh, uh, 4,410. So, amount will be 4,410 after two years. Out of 4,410, he cleared 2,210. Okay. So, balance is 2,200. 
on this money only again interest is calculated for next two years so so far he has cleared 2210 and still 2200 he has to pay not only this one interest also on this money so let us calculate what is the interest on this 2200 for the next two years and uh, for one year how much interest 10 percent is 2 10 5 percent is 1 10 so 1 10 is the interest after one year and second year 1 10 will be there and 5 percent on 1 10 which is 10 percent is 11 5.5 so total how much? 225.5 225 plus 200 2425.5 This is the amount he has to clear Already how much he cleared? 2210 rupees So total how much? 4635.5 He has cleared And out of that money How much is Paid as interest. 4000 is the money which he has taken. What is the balance? 635.550. That is the interest he paid. So, interest he has, he has cleared is 635.5. This is the money which he has cleared. After 4 years totally. Fine. So, now let us see next question. See the next one. What will be the difference in interest on 5000 rupees at the rate of 4% per annum in one and a half year if the interest is compounded yearly and half yearly? Fine. 5000 rupees is the amount. At 4% rate, if we calculate yearly for one and a half year, what is the interest? If we calculate half yearly for one and a half year, what is the interest? And he is asking what is the difference if you calculate like this. Difference when you calculate yearly and half yearly. That is the question. Okay. Interesting one. First let us see. 5,000 yearly how much interest he has to pay. 5,000 is the amount. And the period is one and a half year. Let us see. First one year, after one year, what happened at 4% rate? For one year, 4% rate. How much it will be? 4% of 5000 or 5% 5 of 4000? 5% 5 of 4000 means 200. Okay? 200 is the interest. Fine, after one year. And next year, what happened? See here, it is not the next year, whole year. It is only half year. One and a half year, next period is half year. You are, we are not calculating one year, only half year we are calculating. So interest cannot be 4%, interest will be only 2%. So at 2% rate only we have to calculate. Right? At 2% rate only. At 2% first we get 100 rupees. Okay, 2% of 5000 is 100 rupees. And 2% of 200 also. That is 4 rupees. So 1 at 4 rupees. So, first year interest is 200 rupees, next half year interest is 104 rupees. What is the total interest? Total interest is 304 rupees. So, if it is one uh, calculated yearly, the interest is 304 rupees. Okay, now we calculate half yearly. Okay, I told you, if it is yearly, uh, we calculate and if we Calculate half yearly. What is the difference? Half yearly means time will become double and rate of interest will become half. Now, one and a half year will become three and four, five or so four percent will become two percent. So, as if calculating yearly for one and a half year at four percent is nothing but calculating for three years at two percent, it is the same. So, now we have to calculate at two percent rate. So, five thousand is the amount so first year at two percent rate only now so how much interest it is two percent of five thousand is one hundred and second year again we get hundred rupees and two percent of hundred rupees two percent of hundred rupees is two rupees 
So second year is 102 rupees. So third year we get 102 rupees. That means 100 rupees we get. 2 rupees we get and interest on 1 or 2 rupees also, 1% one of 1 or 2, one per, I mean 2% of 1 or 2, 1% one is 1.02, 2% 2 is 2.04, 2.04, that is 104.04. So first year interest, second year interest, third year interest. What is the total interest? Total interest is 306.04. This is if we calculate half yearly. Yearly we calculated, we are receiving, we are getting 304, half yearly we are getting 306.4. What is the difference here? 2 rupees 4 paisa. That is the difference. The difference is 2 rupees 4 paisa. Yearly calculating, half yearly calculating. Is our answer. Two rupees, uh, 2 rupees 2.04 is the difference between calculating half yearly and yearly. Okay, now let us see uh, the last question. Simple question. The amount and a certain sum of money for the fifth year at 6% per annum compound interest is 583. What was the amount for the fourth year and the same sum? We know the concept of compound interest. Whatever the end of the period, whatever the amount is there, that becomes principal for the next year. So, what is said, end of uh, Fifth year, amount of certain sum of money for the fifth year is at six percent is five eighty three. Fifth year is five eighty three, and is asking what is fourth year? Fourth year is how much? And rate of interest is six percent. So fifth year amount is five eighty three. What is fourth year? That means one not six percent is five eighty three. What is hundred percent? Calculate hundred by one not six into 583, 253 times, 250 times, 53, one time, again 53, one times, this is 550. So, amount at uh, fourth year is 550 rupees is our answer. Right? Yeah. So, this is how to solve the questions accordingly. Again, we have not used any formula here. Component as formula we are not at all used to. But if you can understand clearly what is simple interest, what is compound interest, how we calculate, most of the questions easily you can calculate. Okay? Thank you.